Hi Sagittarius. Welcome to your career and money reading for December. Uh, we have an extra week in November because ne next week is like I've done all three. I've done all the readings on my schedule. It's time for the career and money, but then we have an extra week. So, and I realize that it's Thanksgiving, but we are going to do, I'm going to think of something fun to do next week. Um, God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Thank you for our Sagittarius friends. Thank you for uh, tarot as a tool. And thank you that they come to you for guidance as, uh, as they look at the energies they'll navigate as far as their career goes. Show us clearly what are the three main energies that they uh, can, that they will be navigating as it relates to career in the month of December. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. We thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Please show us what are the three main energies Sagittarius will navigate as they walk through the month of September. Okay. December. <laughs> so we're starting out with discontent and boredom. And we come to solitude and sacral chakra. Okay. We're going to get clarifiers from the Rider weight deck. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, clarify for us what, what are these energies. Um, where do they come from? What do we need to do with them as far as Sagittarius goes for the month of December? We thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity, and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Why are we looking at discontent and boredom? Why are we looking at solitude? And why are we looking at sacral chakra? Show us for Sagittarius, what do these energies mean that they'll be navigating? through the month of December. Okay, this is career and money. I don't know if I said that yet. But to clarify discontent and boredom, we have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Hierophant. And to clarify solitude, we have the Sun. And we have the Seven of Cups. And to clarify Sacral Chakra, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, Sagittarius, and see where this is going. Before we do that, though, we are going to pull your Oracle message that goes with this reading. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us the Oracle message, please, that goes with this reading. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. We thank you for clear and concise messages, and we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. What is the oracle message that goes with this reading, please? Movement. Okay. Let's go put on my glasses. It's a 2 and an 8, and that comes to a 10. So it looks like it could be the end of something and the beginning of something else. Let's see what it says. You're in a time of positive motion forward. Okay, so this is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you are now and you now know the actions that you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. Wow. Okay, so we're going to look at discontent and boredom. This is the same as the Four of Cups. 
right? And in the traditional Tarot of the Four of Cups, the guy is, is sitting there under the tree and he's got his arms crossed and he's staring at the three cups in front of him. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can keep those glasses on. Sometimes I can't. Uh, so he's staring at the three cups in front of him and the universe is trying to hand him something, but he's so busy focused on what's not working for him. He can't see what the universe is trying to bring him. And so in this particular depiction of uh, the card, it's called discontent and boredom. Whatever you're doing now, it's like you feel like there's something more to you and what it is that you want to bring uh, into the world, how you want to show up, Sagittarius. So it's being clarified with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, uh, she doesn't get emotionally attached, right? She she definitely um, makes decisions based on facts, based on uh, her intellect, things like that. Like she moves forward, she leads from a place of um, intellect. Like she, like no fluff, no bull crap. She just wants to go do what she feels is the next right thing to do. She doesn't get all emotional about it. And then you have the Hierophant. So it feels like your truth is, and this is about truth too, you feel like your truth is that you're you're not happy where you are and you want to move out of the structures, out of the conglomerate, out of the constructs, out of the the uh, the norm of what society is. This is about traditional constructs like religion and corporations and things like that. I feel like you're just not happy there anymore and it and you're feeling like it's time for you to do something like move, right? Possibly uh, not necessarily a physical move, but maybe a, a lateral move, moving up on the ladder, possibly possibly moving uh, to another company, or possibly leaving the corporations altogether. I feel like it's more about that because of the higher font. Um, this is tar Taurus energy, but it's, it's uh, and that for, and Taurus energy is more of a, uh, I'm, I have the resource. I know I can do it. It's the earth sign, right? So you're, you're bored where you are is what this is saying. So their recommendation is that we focus on the energy of going within. Decide what it is that you want to do. Decide what it is that makes your heart sing. You've got the sun right here clarifying it. There is something that you either have been working on or have thought about working on either as a side gig or possibly um, a full-time gig, just get just break on out of there and do your thing, right? And you feel like it would make you victorious. You feel like it would make you happy. Uh, it would be warm. It would be more in line with who you are, what your core values are. And, and this is saying to go within and, and actually look at that and feel the feels of that. Allow yourself to feel the feels of that. You've got a lot of options, right? What I love about this card is sometimes we, um, in, in this energy deck, actually, it's choose wisely, right? Same card, choose wisely. But in this deck right here, it's like there's so many different things that you could actually go out there and put your energy into. But the one thing for me that's lit up is this one cup in the middle that has the little, like, Casper the Friendly Ghost in it. So it's like you want to, you want to go within and focus and make sure that whatever you choose to do next would actually line up with you spiritually also. And I don't mean you have to go open a spiritual practice or an energy healing business or anything like that. You could open an art gallery. You could open a, an art studio. You could open a recording studio. You could write a book, you know, just whatever, whatever expresses that creativity from within you that allows you to feel the feels of this this sun card. You know, sometimes you, sometimes, right? Sometimes we'll take a step back from the financial end of things. We'll, we'll, we'll agree to take a pay cut because we know that whatever we're going to do next is going to be so much more fulfilling to us. And, and we get to a point in our lives where that's just more important. And I feel like that's, probably where you are right now Sagittarius where 
whatever it is that you're going to do uh, is going to be more fulfilling for you or that's what you're wanting to do something that that sets you on fire that makes your heart sing that resonates with who you are that makes a difference for you and the people that you love and that's not always about money okay so the next thing is the sacral chakra so I feel like <coughs> excuse me I feel like in in your case in a lot of your cases that this is going to be something that you create from within yourself it's something that an idea that you received it's, it's it uh, lines up with again who you are you're birthing it right the sacral chakra is is the birthplace of creativity that's where creative ideas come from and whatever it is it's going to offer you a fulfillment it's like it's like go in there and figure out what it is and then create it right create it love yourself enough to take that step to to allow yourself that emotional fulfillment and it, it may be a little tough, right? You may feel like you're having to work harder or whatever, or you may feel like a lot of things that you've been through in your current job actually have prepared you for what this is that you're wanting to do next. So Sagittarius, I feel like you got some movement going on in December. Um, it's the end of the year. Perhaps it's the end of this time for you and you're ready to start thinking about things and putting things in place so then in 2020, you can just take off. Uh, we're going to get a PS. God, guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us the PS for Sagittarius as it relates to career and money. Please show us the PS for Sagittarius as it relates to career and money. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for... Clarification, confirmation, and validation. What is the PS that goes with this message or the little extra something something you'd like to say? Whoop. They gave you a pretty good sized PS. Look. So this, this sacral chakra that you have, right, <coughs> was clarified with the Queen of Cups. And the nine of wands. So it's saying that you you know you you can create something that fulfills you emotionally, and it may be a little hard, or you may use experiences from your past to bring this into fruition. And it's being clarified with the king. Um, I mean, the PS starts out with the King of Cups. That you know you're you can be a leader in this field, even with the Queen. You're a leader. The the Queen is more nurturing and more giving. The King is more uh, administrative, and he's a visionary. And he sees how he can put it all together, and it's going to bring love and and fulfillment not only into your life but into the lives of people in your kingdom. They're saying rely on your intuition. That's why they're that's why they're saying focus on this this hermit uh, aspect of yourself. And I don't mean go into hermit mode all month long, but allow yourself the time to get quiet with yourself, to get quiet with yourself, and ask yourself those questions. What is it? What is it that I can do that's going to fill me up? Or or what is this? Let me revisit this idea I had five years ago or 10 years ago. Let's revisit that and see what we can do. And tap into your intuition. You're not going to know all the answers up front. You know, I um, uh, can't remember who it is, but they say, know what you want and know why you want it. Don't, don't worry about how you're going to get there because the steps of, of your path are going to light up as you walk out. And that for me, that's what this moon is about. In the darkness, the moon lights our path. It doesn't show us our destination, but it lights our path as we go. And that's what I feel like this is for, uh, reminding you that the, the universe is going to give you each step when it's time. Look, this is the queen of pentacles. So she's very fertile. What does she do with her pentacles? She she takes an idea from here and brings it into her reality. She brings it into this physical world. And what they're saying with this is that you can do that. As the queen of pentacles, you have the resources, you have the uh, methods, the systems, all that stuff that you, I know you're not the queen of pentacles, but this is showing up. 
so it has all that all those uh, qualities uh, are part of you that will allow you to bring whatever this is into fruition and then you're ending with the magician so the, they're saying remember whatever you whatever we're always creating guard our hearts with all diligence because out of our hearts are the issues of life so if we sit around in here and this energy then uh, we stay stuck there right so when we're starting to feel that way that might be a sign the universe is nudging you to move forward to move forward into the you that you came here to be okay Sagittarius thank you so much for stopping in I look forward to seeing you again next time and until then have a super duper day bye